What's going on you guys? TBR here back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and happy Monday to all of you masochists out there who enjoy such things. I don't know who you people are, but I will find you. In today's video we are going to be doing another subscriber Q&A because hey, it's Monday and I want to try and get one of these in each week because you guys seem to enjoy them, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. In today's video we're going to go through the past 7 to 10 days worth of comments in the comments section. We're going to go ahead and highlight some of them here and have a little bit of fun. I figure might as well try to enjoy ourselves in today's video, since uh, over the weekend my car died and now I don't have a vehicle. And I need a new car. In this economy. With no money. Send help. But before we go ahead and get into all of that and more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so, you smash that like button and subscribe. And without further ado, you guys know what time it is. Cue that intro. you guys now before we go ahead and get into the comments and the questions the first thing i want to talk about is something that we had touched on in this week's saturday chat and chill if you guys haven't seen this week's saturday chat and chill first of all what's wrong with you second of all link will be in the description however we do have a poll here that i had posted on my community tab last week we touched on it in that Saturday chat and chill, and I promised you guys that we would come back to it in this video, and that's exactly what I want to start this off with. So this time around, the community question was pretty simple. I asked you guys, do you like the Street Fighter V collaboration? Now, as you guys can tell, there's three different answers here that you could choose from, and we had over 900 votes, 956 to be exact. You guys always kill with these community tab polls, so thank you all for voting. Now, as you guys can see, we have leading here at 79% of that vote. Yes, you do like the Street Fighter V collaboration. I found that pretty fascinating, especially when we consider the breakdown of the other two options. We had 14% voting for no, and then 8% of people that said, I don't care about it. So what is pretty interesting and what I think we can definitely derive from this is that the overwhelming vast majority of the player base wanted this collaboration and wanted to love this collaboration. This was a very, very low mark for Netmarble to have to hit to get people to be happy with this update. And while I do feel like they hit that mark, if you take a look at the comments, which we're going to talk about some of those in today's video, you're going to notice that there are a lot of people that are even in the 79% of people that voted for yes, they do like the collaboration as a whole. There are still going to be a ton of those players that have a lot of major issues with this update which I think is a pretty healthy way of going about things. It's nice to see that we can all admit yet, while well, yes, we do like the update and the idea of the update, and we love the characters, there are a lot of glaring issues with this update that we do not want to see replicated with whatever the next collaboration is. I did notice a lot of people commenting about how they really do hope that we go back to more of a similar idea of what we had with things such as the Guilty Gear collaboration, which I would argue was definitely a lot more generous and a lot less greedy on Netmarble's part. So in general, I found this to be pretty interesting. These always give us a pretty good idea of just how you guys are feeling on the whole. And while again, the 79% voted for yes, they do like this update. There are a lot of those people in that 79% that did comment with a lot of different issues, as well as maybe even some things that could be done to alleviate those issues come the next collaboration. So again, guys, thank you all for voting on this. I found this pretty interesting. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the comments and the questions. First up here, we have a comment from Gelato who asks, I know it's a bit too early to think about what's next, but who will we get next banner? Is it the BS voting results? Thanks a lot, love your content. Well, first of all, Gelato, thank you for the comment, and I appreciate that, but when it comes to what we are going to see next, who knows? After a collaboration, it's very hard to gauge what Netmarble's plans are. There have been instances in the past where we have not just gotten a straight up banner right after an update for a collaboration, so it's going to be pretty tough to tell on this. I would say that you could definitely bet that we're probably going to see some sort of SS or BS banner at some point once this goes away, probably within the two week time frame of this collaboration ending. 
Now, whether or not that is going to be a new rerun banner that is going to coincide with a new EX character, maybe some of the characters that won in those voting results, as you pointed out, it's hard to know. So at this point, I'm not exactly sure what we can expect. I think that you could pretty much make a good case for anything at this point. My opinion on this is just to wait and see, and just to try to save, save, save if you have that ability right now for whatever might be coming down the road. I know for me personally, I'm really excited for a potential EX Keo, so that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. But in general, I'm not sure what's going to be the next banner, nor do I think anybody is going to be able to give a pretty accurate gauge on that considering the fact that, again, everything tends to be up in the air after these collaborations. But thank you for the comment. Good Dude Mad World says, I'm taking a break after this collaboration. I can't blame you. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty exhausted after this collaboration myself. Now, granted, a lot of that has to do with, you know, YouTuber problems. But for me personally, I know that I've been hitting this game really, really hard the past couple of weeks, much to the chagrin of everyone around me and myself. But it's going to be one of those situations for me also where I think that there might be a couple day period there at least where I kind of take it easy for a few days once this collaboration wraps up. Because yeah, guys, I'm tired. <laughs> Help me. Sean Ansari says, they should extend for 10 days more. Now this is in reference to the collaboration. Uh, Sean, while I do agree with you, it would be awesome if they would extend the collaboration. It's not going to happen. Typically speaking, when it comes to these contracts with these companies, they have an exact date that they are able to use this stuff live in the game. So once those dates are passed, it would require some sort of amendment to the contract more than likely. So unfortunately, I think there's pretty much a non-zero chance that this is probably going to happen. So while I think we would all love to see it, I unfortunately don't believe that that's ever going to be a thing that's going to happen. But hey, never say never, right? Even though it's never gonna happen. Invert Brid. Is that how I say that? I wanted to say invert bride, which is a really weird thing to say. But anyway. Also, yeah, Dream Match is really good addition to the game. It's basically non-pay to win championship. Hopefully they keep it permanently. I agree. And we had talked about this briefly in the Saturday Chat and Chill. I do think that Dream Match is going to be one of those new game modes that probably is the most popular with the community right now. And typically speaking, there has been a very rough track record for Netmarble when it comes to new game modes as far as people accepting them and liking them. So I do hope that they keep this one around. I know that they're planning on taking it away with the update, but hopefully this is something that they were beta testing like I had mentioned on Saturday, and this is going to become a permanent game mode. I do think that it will. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, and I really don't see any downside to Netmarble keeping it into the game. I really think that honestly most people would just be happy to have it. So yeah, I do agree with you, Invert Brid. I do think that they are probably going to end up keeping this as a permanent mode. Maybe not right off the bat. We might go a couple weeks without it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't just a couple weeks before we heard word that they were planning on adding this in permanently. But thank you for the comment. Absy49 says, meh. People are happy they got their characters and completely forget, ignore that this collab was inferior in almost every other single aspect compared to the last two we had. Guess the smoke bomb from introducing pay to win collabs from Netmarble worked on a lot of people. LMAO. <laughs> it's always weird saying these acronyms, these internet acronyms, when I'm reading these. I don't know. I just, I just feel weird. I feel like I'm back in high school. But anyway, as far as this comment is concerned, I do agree it is inferior in a lot of ways. Outside of the subject matter, when it comes to some of the events, they nerfed a lot of those. And again, I talked a lot about this stuff in Saturday, Saturday chat and chill, but overall they nerfed a lot of the events. A lot of the characters, because of what they did with the EX system and changing things around, are a lot harder to build. It's a lot less free to play friendly it's a lot less budget player friendly in general and i do think that it is fair to make this statement i think it's fair to say that the street fighter 5 collaboration if you really look at it objectively was a weaker collaboration by comparison to a lot of these other ones especially with the guilty gear collaboration being as strong as it was that was such a great collaboration 
that I do feel like, yeah, it's it's very easy to get hype and get lost in the hype with the Street Fighter V stuff and forget the fact that there are a lot of glaring issues with this collaboration. Do I think that that ruins the collaboration? Do I think that that means that the collaboration was a total failure? Well, of course not. I think that, again, it kind of goes back to what I said at the end of Saturday's video. They had a chance to hit a grand slam home run here, and instead they hit a double. And I think that that is pretty much what we got with this collaboration, and that's about as fair of an analogy without using a lot of expletives for certain things that I could possibly give you. But definitely agree with your sentiment here, Absy49. And I do think that there's a lot more people out there that agree with you than you might realize. But thank you for the comment. Alucard Jr. 69 says, Man, Alucard, you're in like every one of these videos, dude. Chill. But anyway, Alucard's comment is, How is Ryu compared to Akuma? So when it comes to Ryu, I'm going to tell you guys right now, there will be Ryu coverage here on the channel as well as Chun-Li later on in the week, if not probably starting tomorrow at this point. I haven't decided kind of the rotation of videos, but I am planning on having footage for both of those characters or all three of those characters if I do both Chun-Li's. Sounded really weird. I'm going to step away from that comment, but... <laughs> We are going to be talking about all of them in this week's videos, so, you know, to answer the question, Akuma, in my opinion, is better. I have my reasoning. A lot of reasons. We'll talk about it, but not in this video. Atlas Blast says, not too worried about Bison since SS memories can, parentheses, can, drop from Inferno. Uh, yeah, Atlas Blast, this is definitely something that is very nice about both Bison and Luke. I've said this several times, and I figure I'll take a moment here to say it again, just to reiterate for all the people in the back. Now, you don't need to worry about A5-ing all these characters right now. A lot of people have pointed out the fact that we don't have any way to get any sort of generic EX memories, but guys, keep in mind that this is a new system. We will eventually get generic EX memories. It's going to happen. You already know that Netmarble is going to have some sort of generic system in place at some point for these. It's just that right now we're not going to obviously see that with a collaboration. So give it a little bit of time. I would say make sure that you at least pick up your favorite characters, whether they be the SS or the EX ones. And you can eventually build those EX characters up, I'm sure. But with the SS characters, like Atlas points out here, Yes, you can get those generic memories from Guild Raid, albeit very, very rare. I've never seen one drop for myself personally. We'll see what happens eventually. Maybe I'll get one. Who knows? My luck doesn't tend to be very great with those boxes. We all saw how hard it was for me to get on pairing kits by God, so I can only imagine. But with that being said, I don't think that you need to go full blast into this thing and try to A5 all these characters. I think that again, as I've stated before, if you're a player that is going to be kind of a beginner intermediate or a dolphin or a minnow or whatever, if you want to get these characters to A3, especially the EX ones, and an A3 EX Akuma is going to be so good as it is that honestly getting him to A5 is a little bit overkill at the point where you're at in your account. And honestly, you'll be able to clear a lot of the content using him even at just A3. So that would be my recommendation. And again, yes, like Atlas pointed out, once you get a generic memory, you can feed it to your favorite SS character. So you'll eventually get them if you're lucky enough. <laughs> right. Sam says he has the same eyes as King. They were destined to be with the other. LOL. Talking about me and King. I accept this. Anyway, you guys, that is going to be this week's subscriber Q&A. I hope you all found it entertaining, enjoyable, informative, whatever it is that you come to these videos for. I hope you got out of it what you wanted. But with that being said, make sure you guys leave a comment in the comment section if you want to potentially have your comment read here on the channel. Also, keep in mind, we do still have just a few short days left for you to enter for that $25 Google Play or iOS gift card giveaway. So make sure you guys get your comments in before Saturday. Again, link will be in the description to the video that you need to check out in order to do that. But with all that being said, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. You all take care. Peace. Continue.